Hi Greedy 3 ds IPA, isopropyl alcohol, the alcohol stuff that we use to clean our 3D prints with. As you know, it doesn't seem to take long before it gets really, really grubby. And it's not cheap, it's not free, but one of the good things with IPA is there are some ways that you can recoup that IPA out of the dirty resin. And I'm gonna show you today something that I'm doing here that is really, really simple. I've not got any condensers, I've not got any fancy gadgetry that's gonna potentially explode and burn the house down. All I'm gonna do is a simple process to recoup some clean IPA out of some dirty IPA. If you're interested, stay tuned. So here's the situation that most of us resin 3D printers will be faced with at some point. Here I've got my form wash station. It's about two, three weeks full of uh, resin and IPA. It's had a good old blasting of cleaning this last few weeks. So I'm just going to get this little battery operated pump. Now this one came with the Form Labs Full 4, but you can pick these up off, uh, off eBay or from Amazon. I'll try and put some links in the description. And all I'm going to do here is siphon out some of this dirty IPA just to show you what I do with it. I'm not going to do a full clean on the tank. I'm just going to show you how I do it. So I'm going to take out around about 300 mils or so of this really dirty horrible IPA mixed resin and it is absolutely horrible it's not cleaning anymore it's just leaving nasty little bits all over your models and we, we all come across this don't we in the game and once I've got that in there so it's about 300 mils just so I can show you what I do I'm going to put a lid on this little Tupperware box and you can see all that horrible nasty stuff in there and I'm going to do nothing more than put this in the garden in an area where it's going to attract sunlight even in the UK in winter the sun is out or UV rays are a shining and a couple of days later I think it's about three days later you can see that the resin has kind of started to cure but has fallen to the bottom and has left that clean ish and I say ish IPA at the top because it looks a little bit off coloured but it's cleaner than it was when it was mixed in with all the resin. So we've got something that we can use. And I'm not gonna say this is gonna be a clean wash, but it's certainly gonna be good for your dirty wash. And all I've done here is I've got the biggest syringe that I've got. If you can get a bigger syringe, it makes your job a lot easier. And I'm just gonna put this back into an IPA bottle. So when you get your IPA bottles, don't throw them away, keep them. We can find a use for your uh, empty IPA bottles and this is one of them. And all I'm gonna do is take that syringe and carefully, so that I don't start mixing all of that horrible resin back into it, I'm gonna put, suck it out and put it in the bottle. Now you can go a step further if you want to and put a filter in here. I did do that uh, previously, but that filter that's in there does clog up really, really quickly. Now if you've got any suggestions of something else you can use as a filter, maybe a coffee filter, maybe an old sock, I don't know, that you could use and put it into a funnel and maybe just get the last tiny bits of resin out, then let me know. But realistically, there are a little bit of resin in here. Of course there is, but there's not a huge amount. It looks mostly clear and I'm just going to Tip it up ever so carefully just to get an angle on it just so I can get a few more mils of this clean-ish resin out from the top. And believe me when I say that the resin that's coming out here will clean your models. I have a dirty and a clean wash and I'll start to use this now in my dirty wash and eventually I'll change everything in the washing cure station that you just saw me using there and I will replace that with nice clean so that'll be my clean the clean IPA station, my clean cleaning station. So I have recouped, I would say, about one litre of relatively clean IPA from three litres of absolutely manky, horrible resin and IPA. So I don't think that's too bad. That's a third of that IPA saved. And you are left with this horrible, nasty, half resin, half IPA slurry. And it's pretty damn foul. Looks like the blob. It's horrible. So now, of course, you're left with that really horrible half resin, half IPA slurry. So what do you do with it? Well, I'll tell you straight away what you don't do with it. You don't pour it down drains. You don't just stick it in the refuse. It is barely cured resin. It's slime. It's not nice and hard. It's not what you would think if you've took a support off and you've cured that and you've thrown that in your trash. 
depending now on where you live in the world will depend on what you need to do with that. For me here in the UK, that is a kind of a waste product that I can't get rid of in the refuse. I can't just stick it in a black bin. I'm not gonna stick it in some kind of tub and throw it in the bin. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take this down my local refuse center, my local tip as it's known in the UK, and I'm gonna deposit it into the chemical waste container that's there. Uh, check your local council if you you're in the UK to find out what you can and cannot take to your tip. Um, if you're anything like me and I've looked into this, you can take this dirty half resin, half IPA to your local refuse collection centre. If you're anywhere else in the world, you really need to look at your local environmental department to find or your local council to find exactly what you can do with this. But it's really important that we treat the environment carefully and we don't just throw this in a bin. Um, people have said leave it outside to cure the problem is because it's got IPA in it it's not going to cure to enough sufficiency for you to be able to put it in the bin it doesn't cure it into a solid lump of IPA and the IPA that's mixed in with the resin normally IPA evaporates this just tends not to evaporate completely and will still leave you that horrible slurry so make sure you dispose of that carefully that's the important thing so what have we done here today? We haven't renewed the whole lot of IPA and I haven't used any fancy gadgets. I haven't used these. You can buy these filtration systems that they use to create alcohol and condenser systems. I haven't done any of that. And I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm sure there are solutions to do that, but I didn't want to do that. I felt it was a little too dangerous just for me to do that. I didn't want to mess around with that. So I've just popped it in a tub, stuck it in the sunlight. Three days later, I've siphoned it out and I have saved about a third of my IPA to use again, which I don't think is horrendous. It's normally all thrown away. It's normally all lost. So we've got something back here. An IPA doesn't grow on trees. It's not cheap. And because it's a chemical, we want to try and reuse it as much as we can. Now I'll reuse this over and over in my dirty wash until it gets to a point where it's not doing its job. And I found that once you get the resin out of it, it kind of stays really potent and does its job really, really well for quite some time. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found that useful. I'd be interested to know what you guys do with your dirty IPA, your dirty resin soaked IPA. What do you do? Is there something else I can do? Can you offer me any advice? What about a filtration system? Is there anything you can think that I can filter out the rest of that uh, nasty sludge stuff to get more IPA out? Maybe an old sock, maybe a filter of some kind, maybe something I haven't thought of completely. Let me know. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, make sure to hit subscribe to the channel think about joining the greedy 3d patreon thank you for watching interested to hear what your thoughts are and i'll see you next time on greedy 3d